green pepper stew. This is what's for my lunch. What are you gonna have? Okay, so I'm gonna start by steam, um, roasting, I should say, the peppers directly over an open flame so I can get a nice char on them. And then what I'm, I'm gonna char all sides. And then what I'm going to do is put them in a bowl, cover them, and let the um, steam kind of like soften the skin so I can remove the char from the peppers. Uh, I can hear them popping and I can smell them and they smell really good. Oh, that looks tasty. So as I said, I'm gonna do all the sides and hopefully they won't fall over my stove. Oh, that looks good. They smell good. Tricky to do, one-handed. Probably shouldn't be doing three at a time. But they look good and they smell good. So I'll continue on. Mmm, doesn't that look good? I'm not going to be roasting all the peppers, just a few of them, a small handful. These are out of, out of the garden and I have a ton. Um, just for extra flavor. Some of them, not all of them, as I said. And I did decide to take one off to make it a little easier for me to handle. So there you go. So I put the charred peppers into the bowl and I'm gonna cover them with foil and let them sit and steam. And move on to the next steps, which will be chopping onions and preparing other vegetables. Nothing fancy, just a chopped up pepper or several to go in this recipe. I'm gonna use about five, maybe six, because I have so many out of the garden. And into a bowl they go. I'll continue on with my peppers, then I will do my onion. Okay, now, so in this bowl, I have two uh, pretty large sweet onions. I have, I think it was like three bell peppers. And then I also had one small red bell pepper. So I'm gonna mix these up. And then what I'm gonna do is, remember those um, peppers I fire roasted a little earlier? I'm gonna take the skins off, chop those up, and add them to this bowl along with all these. Being that they were steaming makes the, the outer skin comes off really nice. I can run them under water and I probably will do that to get the majority of the um, char off. But it's not really all that necessary and I don't mind if there's a little char in with the um, green pepper soup. I think it'll add that much more flavor. So like I said, I'm gonna chop these, seed them, and get them into the bowl. Okay, so here's the roasted um, bell pepper, the fire roasted bell pepper. Like I said, I wasn't gonna take all the char off. Uh, one, I think it's gonna be good for flavor, and two, I was getting lazy. You do what you like, take it all off if you want, or leave it all on if you want. The choice is yours. So I'm just gonna chop this up, rough chop, no biggie. And re maybe remove some of the seeds and maybe leave a bunch in. Again, I'm getting lazy. Going in my bowl. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna brown up two pounds of ground beef when we move to the stove. And then we will continue on with the recipe, which is pretty much just a dump recipe because I'm not following any sort of, uh, I'm just throwing in what I like, what I have. So it's, it's one of my Kudos Kitchen recipes. I do hope you all enjoy it. And if you're new here on my YouTube channel um, and you like what you see, don't forget to give me a good old thumbs up and subscribe if you like, because I sure would appreciate the, um, the company here because I love to cook and I love to share my recipes with you. So I have two more roasted bell peppers to do and then we will move on to the stove. 
Okay, so we moved to the stove top and I got my big old Dutch oven and I'm going to add about, I don't know, a tablespoon. I don't want to add too much more than that of oil in there because the ground beef I'm using is an 80-20 blend. So it will give off plenty of um, excess fat. So, and I'm going to use two pounds because why not? My husband likes things meaty, <laughs> I guess. So there's one. And here comes the other one. Okay, so let it brown up. I got my dandy dandy spatula that I just absolutely love, my spotted spatula. Break it up a little bit. You know how to brown ground beef. This is not rocket science. Break it up as it's browning. I'll season it with some salt and pepper. And then once we're almost brown, or fully brown, I will go ahead and add in the chopped onions and peppers that you saw me prepare before. Here's the salt and pepper I promised you. Probably two teaspoons of salt and a pinch for luck. And then maybe the half of that of cracked black pepper. I do love pepper, so I mean, go ahead and season to your taste. But I like a lot. Thank you. Give it another good stir. Let her brown away. I think I'm going to crank the heat just a little because there is a lot of meat in here. It'll cook down considerably, but for right now, there's a lot of meat in here. Okay, I don't want to let the meat cook down too much further before I add in my chopped veg. So all the green pepper you saw before, a little bit of red pepper, and the onion because I want it to cook along with the ground beef. And then when the ground beef is done, <laughs> the vegetables will be just about tender. So we'll give it a good stir. And boy, this pot is full. But that's okay because this green pepper stew, as I'm calling it, you can call it a soup, but I like mine to be a little thicker. This green pepper stew will work great as the leftovers. It'll freeze beautifully. So one meal for tonight and one meal for down the road. So I'm just gonna keep cooking this with all the ground beef brown beautifully. I'll add a little bit more salt and pepper here because we just added more ingredients. Always remember to season as you go, not just once in the beginning and once at the end. You want to season everything as you go. So a little bit more salt and of course some more cracked, cracked black pepper. I guess it's time to get the phone. <laughs> Or not. I'm gonna let this cook down for probably a good five to seven minutes. Just so you're aware. When we check back, you'll see that everything is cooked down considerably. All right, so this has been simmering. I turned the heat down for probably about 10, 10 minutes or so. So next I'm going to add a full 28 can, can of crushed tomatoes. And I switched to my smaller spatula because it's just so much easier for me to work with than that large one. So there's the tomatoes. Next I'm going to add in one cup of long grain brown rice. You can use white, but I happen to have brown in the pantry, which I always do have. I think it's a little, little bit healthier for you, more nutrients and probably better fiber. So stir that up. It will take a little longer to cook because it's brown rice, um, but not that much longer. It will have more of a bite to it. So more toothsome, if you like that word. So 
stir that up well. Of course, more, what do you know, salt and pepper, because we're adding more ingredients. And I am going to be using a no sodium beef stock. So if that looked like a lot of salt, that's to compensate for the fact that the um, beef stock is no sodium. More pepper, 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 pepper. Pepper, pepper for the bell pepper stew. And of course we can taste it at the end and see, see what we think as far as if we need to add more seasonings. And then, as I said, unsalted beef stock. And I'm going to add about two, this is a quart, so two, two and a half cups. I kind of eyeball everything. But once there looks to be a good amount in the pot that's going to cover the ingredients, I figure we're good. Again, I do want this to be stew consistency, not soup consistency. So I'm okay if there's not that much liquid to spoon. But I will add a little bit more right now because I think it could use it. So probably three cups for sure. And there's easily one more cup left in the container. Next up, we'll do our seasonings. Our uh, not the salt and pepper, of course. We're kind of done with that for a little while, but our other seasonings. I'm, I didn't add garlic to this, so I'm going to go ahead and add probably a good teaspoon and a half of garlic powder, which I do like in most everything. I have some chili powder, because why not? Spice it up. What is that? Maybe a teaspoon and a half-ish. You can adjust Later, if you feel you need more, can't take it out, of course, but you can add more. This is um, smoked paprika, one of my very favorite ingredients. I add it whenever possible. So two, two and a half teaspoons smoked paprika, I'm going to say. That was, I have a little cayenne pepper. I'm not going to go too heavy on that, just a pinch, just to liven it up a little bit. And then the last seasoning which I don't think I added <laughs> I hope not anyways ground cumin I love it put it in so many things so what is this maybe I'm gonna call it two teaspoons so we'll stir it up and we're gonna let this simmer covered I'm gonna cover it and we'll let it simmer for well probably at least a good at least a good 40 minutes, 45 minutes, until the rice is tender and most of the liquid is absorbed. I may add more liquid if I feel I need to, but we'll have a look at that in a little bit. Looks good, doesn't it? Nice, deep color. Looks beautiful, actually. I'm excited. So we'll pop the cover on and come back in a little bit to check on it. Alexa, set the timer for 40 minutes. Uh -huh. Mmm, yum. So I just took the cover off. It's been simmering, pretty heavy simmer for 20 minutes. Alexa told me it was done. So now I took the cover off and I'm going to turn the heat down even lower and let it simmer again for probably a good 15, 20 minutes just to make sure that the rice is cooked through. Because remember, we did use brown rice and that does take a little bit longer cooking time. But doesn't it look good? Oh, I'm excited to eat dinner tonight. Um, again, it, it's a big pot of um, stew and see how it cooked down? Pretty incredible. And as it, as it cools, it will thicken up a little bit. I don't think I'm going to add any more liquid beef stock. I think this looks pretty decent for now. I'll see what it looks like as it's cooled a little bit more, but I think I think we're good to go. So a few more minutes of simmering and then I'll spoon you up a nice big portion and it will be time to eat. I'm also at this point gonna check for seasonings. Um, make sure that there's enough salt and pepper and make sure the rice is cooked. So it's too hot. I'm gonna blow on it, give it a taste.
and I do believe it can use a touch more salt and of course more pepper. And then I have a surprise at the end, which I bet you will not see coming. So here's some more pepper. And my super duper surprise ingredient Again, I bet you don't see coming, but it sure does make a difference. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of butter. And as the butter melts, it will get nice and rich and will help the green pepper stew just kind of linger on your tongue a little bit and make you want to come back for more and more. What can be so wrong with that, right? I may even add a splash of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna have a taste in a minute and I'll let you know. I tell you what, that butter made a huge difference. Something about it just, like I said, just adds richness to the stew. But I also am deciding to go ahead and use just a tiny, tiny splash of apple cider vinegar because what that will do, whoa, and pour it all over my stove. What that will do is just brighten the flavors just the tiniest bit. And there's never anything wrong with that. So give it a stir and we're just about ready to eat. The rice is nice and tender now. So another minute and we're good to go. I'm glad you guys joined me today for this recipe. It's the way I cook, I kinda just, I see what I have, I use what I have. Uh, I happen to have, like I said, all these green peppers from the garden that I needed to get, get busy with before they uh, rotted. I have given a lot of things away to friends and neighbors, um, which I do enjoy doing, but these I wanted to keep all for myself. So I'm gonna, if you did like this video, hopefully you did, don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up. Subscribe if you like, you can even hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new content that comes out. I'm going to try and get a little bit more regular with it um, once I start feeling a little bit better. And uh, I haven't talked about going through cancer with you and I wasn't going to so I don't know why I brought that up. But pretend I didn't mention that. I'm doing great. So here you have it. Green pepper stew.